Hi everyone, um, my name is Jory Burson. I am the community director at the OpenJS Foundation, and I'm so excited to chat with you today alongside my bestie, Giuseppe. Hi, yeah, I'm Giuseppe. I uh, work for IBM as an open source engineer, and I also am the chairperson of the Cross Project Council at the OpenJS Foundation. We like to use the acronym CPC a lot, which I think confuses people, huh, Joe? It's true. It's very true. But it stands for Cross Project Council. It does. It and, does. And what is the Cross Project Council? Uh, council, which I think is a fun word. Uh, but yeah, so we're the Cross Project Council. Cross Project meaning we 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 try to help all the projects in the in the foundation, and we have different representatives from different uh, groups and uh, different projects, uh, uh, as well as people that are outside of the, the the individual projects as well, coming to help make things better for for everyone. I like the word council as well because I think it it captures it captures like what the spirit of the group tries to do, which is really help, like and also provide advice and work collaboratively with with projects and with the community and with the board too. Um, and you know, I think that's a so I think council is like also a, like apt description of like some of the activity. Um, one thing people may not know too is that the the council really is just you know there for support for the projects and stuff, but we don't dictate technical decisions for any of the projects. Nor does the OpenJS Foundation Board of Directors. That we really kind of have this balance of you know obligations and responsibilities where the projects really get to you know do what they want to do. <laughs> Yeah, and I think that there's, it's a, 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 I don't know if freedom is the right word. It's a freeing kind of thing in that we are really just working to make things good for the projects and um, just trying to improve their the, the, the resource that they have and, and the ways that they can uh, support their own communities and, and be a part of the larger ecosystem. Uh, so it's really kind of a, a good place to be where you feel like you're, you're doing positive things. Um, you mentioned earlier, you know, that we're doing a lot of uh, programs and things, and we'll we'll get into JavaScript Landy and some of the others that we're really uh, we're we're working on actively now. But um, what are some of the things that the CPC does that, um, or that we've been working on that that have uh, helped projects? Yeah, there, there's an assortment of uh, things that we are working on currently and, and have on the, um, you know, the plate that we want to get to as well. I mean, I think a, a, a big one that I think is has a lot of clear impact is like the community fund that we've we've started to flesh out. Um, in the node space, we used to have the uh, travel fund and we still you know do, but we're working on morphing that into more of a community fund. So it's not just travel specific, but uh, we have a, a, a good chunk of money set aside that uh, folks from the community or the projects can uh, request uh, funds for uh, various uh, reasons. I mean, a common one in the past would be uh, someone who, who wants to speak or be engaged at some sort of event uh, that's related to our projects or our foundation, uh, we would uh, reimburse them for their travel to get to and from and, and other expenses that came along with that. Uh, so we're trying to broaden that scope, uh, but that's a really, I think, tangible thing that people um, can, can, can benefit from. Another thing that, that we've done, although it's hard to speak specific <laughs> too specifically in this case, but we've got such a good group of people with such a broad range of expertise. There have definitely been times where we've um, helped maintainers sort of connect with uh, experts on specific issues like security vulnerabilities and sort of the process of um, kind of responding and understanding like the scope or impact of a report. Um, and that's just been, I know, really helpful for a number of our maintainers. Um, and we've got a collab space, actually, that's kind of popping up around that, too. So um, that's one I, I know has been uh, made a big difference for folks this year as well. Yeah, for sure. And I, I think we'll get into collab spaces more in a few minutes. But yeah, there, there are lots of things that we're working on, like standards is another one uh, that just popped up immediately when we started uh, uh, working together at this level.
right? Like book club. <laughs> you know, I had to pop by. You know, I had to pop by. But um, you know, that's just sort of this like just community of people on Slack where we just started exchanging. Like, oh, I just read this. It was really good. And now there's this really active sort of exchange of people talking about. Um, you know, things that books they've read recently that they love. And we even have like uh, periodic calls where we get together and talk about programming books or open source books or whatever. So yeah. that's been so fun. Yeah. And we do have a lot of fun people uh, in the group and we just generally have fun with whatever we're doing. Uh, it's really a great group of people have emerged um, active in the space, but we want more people. Uh, uh, so we're here to, to, to tell you how to get involved, um, and hopefully give you some entry points and to get you excited about getting involved. Uh, the way that I usually point people, we have this helpful URL. Uh, I might even have it here. Look at this. What a bunch of professionals, um, openjsf.org slash collaborate or collaboration, which we've used in the past. I've, I've asked for both of them to work and they and they do. Uh, but on this URL, um, you can find links to join the Slack uh, for the foundation. You can find links to join, um, to, 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 to access uh, GitHub. Uh, the link to the calendar is, is there. So there are a variety of resources uh, on this page that help you to get involved with the, uh, the, the fun and uh, helpful work that we're doing at the foundation. And, um, you know, I think you mentioned this before, Joe, but just to reiterate, you know, this is not closed to only people who have contributed to one of our projects. This is really open for anyone who is interested in just open source JavaScript projects and wants to get involved with um, a community that's here to support those projects. So if you are a fan if you, of, of any of our projects or just want to um, kind of get involved with a welcoming JS community, you're more than welcome to join us. Yeah, and that's a that's a great segue into our our next kind of area that we wanted to talk about, which is uh, collaboration spaces. And I think the the, the driving force of this uh, when it was created was that we want to provide uh, opportunities for folks who are sort of outside of um, either a project or the foundation work, but generally just people in the ecosystem that want to get involved and help uh, make positive impact in, in the space that we're all working in. Uh, so this concept of collaboration spaces was created. Uh, thank you to Michael Dawson for, for, for uh, spearheading that. Um, and so it's a place where, you know, um, uh, Jory had mentioned uh, earlier the, the security vulner vulnerabilities um, collaboration space that's, that's been spun up. Uh, you know, there are a variety of people from different areas of the ecosystem that are coming together to work on that problem um, and, and, and try to make progress there. Yeah, that's going to be um, spearheaded. And I believe Darcy Clark and Wes Todd also have a talk um, specifically about this that they're going to share as part of OpenJS World. So go over and check that talk out um, if you're interested. But um, it's a great example of the foundation providing some resources and support for the community, both folks within our projects and also uh, member organizations and, and other uh, open source projects who aren't part of our family to get together, uh, talk about the issues and figure out how they could maybe work together on a on an approach to reduce noise and package and uh, security vulnerability reporting. So that's going to be um, really uh, taking off, I think, later this summer. Um, and then we'll have others that we're going to announce soon. I'm sitting here re we're recording this a few days before the conference, so I'm not sure what will exactly be public, but I know there's a couple more coming down the pipeline that we're really excited to see announced. Um, and uh, the, the, anything that you can think of in terms of maybe you have an interest around a specific space like IoT, or you want to work on tooling, or you want to work on um, packages, or you want to work on um, just something in the community, uh, a collab space may be a place that you can come to the foundation and get some support and, and talk to our network uh, about uh, collaborating on it. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and this kind of brings up a good point, because as you were talking, I wanted to encourage folks to get involved if they have an idea that they think would make a great collabor collaboration space. Um, you know, what steps would they take to even suggest it or propose it? And I actually needed to go to the to our GitHub repository to uh, to find out more information uh, because it wasn't at my fingertips as to how to go about doing that. And I'm going to throw up a banner here really quickly. Um, so here is the our, our our GitHub repository for the Cross Project Council, um, and and I'll just take a quick moment to talk about like open open source. Although I know uh, on, on on the day of the event, uh, Michael Dawson and Beth Griggs and I are doing a keynote about open open source. But the concept is that we try to do as much in the open as possible. So for example, in GitHub, our meetings are streamed public. Our meeting notes are are are, are committed to GitHub. Um, Slack and all these other places where you can get involved. But you know, my instinct was, I don't know how to do this, so I'm gonna go to the GitHub repository and find the, uh, the, the document. And at the top level, there's a collaboration space progression document that gives you the steps for how to uh, suggest a uh, proposal. So if you have any ideas for a collaboration space or anything else that you wanna get involved uh, with us, please go to GitHub, look in the, the documents, uh, issues and PRs are, are a good place to check out too. Um, but we welcome everyone to to get involved. And of course, if you want help sort of brainstorming that idea or refining that further, uh, you know, Slack is a great place for that too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, um, that is kind of all about collab spaces. I know that this time next year, we'll be talking a lot more in depth about several of the collab spaces that are launching this year. Um, but we want to make sure that if you're interested um, in, in uh, working with the OpenJS Foundation or any of its projects or its extended network, that you think about doing that through a collab space. So um, should we talk about the standards working group, Joe? We, you mentioned earlier the structure of the Node Foundation, which we um, largely incorporated in many ways into the cross project council included a lot of working groups and things like that the standards working group is uh but one um and it's one that's been really active lately huh yeah yeah like i said this this seemed uh yeah, so standards working group and and has been uh, fairly active lately. We've had some invited speakers uh, uh, talking to us about a few different um, things, uh, but yeah, it's a, that's also an exciting place to to get involved. And again, you don't have to be a part of a project to 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 come and um, you know start to to engage in that work. So uh, please feel free to. But um, yeah, why don't we dig into a couple of things that's been going on? Yeah, so you know, um, this is another space where you we really aren't expecting people to have a lot of um, prior prior experience. It's just in the same way you don't have to have prior experience in open source to get involved in the OpenJS Foundation. You don't have to have prior experience in standards to get involved with the standards working group. In fact, one of our um, goals for this year is to really develop a um, set of resources and a website for developers and those interested to learn more about standardization activities in in general what we've found is that it's still really opaque for a developer who um, maybe wants to get involved in web api standardization in some way to understand you know where uh, where do you go to get information outside of say in dn um you know where where are where is this information found in terms of like what the process is that sort of stuff uh so our team is pulling together a set of educational materials that should give people the context and hopefully just the background um, info that they need to be successful as they learn more about participating in say the javascript uh, standardization process or a web api process or something like that so yeah, I think it's really, this is going to be a really valuable resource because we do, you know, we're fortunate that we have experts in a number of these, you know, standards bodies, the, the work that's going on in a variety of areas. So whether it's, um, you know, ECMAScript and and the ECMA Found, uh, International and uh, TC39 work or uh, W3C, what working group kind of work, um, you know, there's, there's, 
we're lucky that we have a, a people from all these different areas coming together to talk about this. I mean, the first thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to call it, uh, which is always uh, uh, the first challenge. Uh, but I'm really excited about the resources that we'll be able to provide as we kind of flesh them out further. Um, it's, uh, it's exciting work. Um, those resources are currently available on our um, on our GitHub um, repo, which is the slash standards instead of slash cross project council. Um, but that will be available as a as a web resource very soon. As Joe mentioned, there's so many awesome people in our um, community that have a lot of experience um, in standardization activities, and they're really excited to share what they've learned and help people, you know, succeed uh, where they may have failed in the past or made a mistake or, or whatever. So, um, you know, there's a lot of cooperation and a lot of interest in mentorship and teaching and that kind of thing. So um, if you are at all curious, do do reach out and either watch that repo or um, come join us in Slack uh, and Get, get involved uh, there. Another uh, way that we're supporting standards work this year for our projects, this is something um, people may not know, but uh, many of our projects like jQuery, for example, and Node uh, and, um, and others have really contributed a lot to standards work over the years. Um, PEP actually, which was uh, moved to emeritus stage earlier in the year, was uh, really instrumental early on in pointer events that 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 web standard so uh, the jquery project always was quite uh, active in the javascript specification for years and years and years and so we're working on uh just tightening that feedback loop between the open source projects that implement or create polyfills or that sort of thing for specs to the committees that are standardizing those things and to the implementers so um, that's another area of focus this year that we're really excited about. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, with all the projects that we have in the foundation, which I think is well into the 30s now, almost 40 or so. Uh, it's like 37 now. So it's, we're, at, we're approaching the number where I'm like, ish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know? uh, and it's exciting that other, you know, uh, uh, projects are are applying and, and, and we're growing and it's really uh, exciting. But, um, you know, there are new and old projects in the foundation and, and there's just a lot of uh, history and experience and, and a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot to bring to the table to work through the stuff. And I know standards sometimes can be a little bit daunting, um, you know, reading a spec and, and figuring out how to get involved. Uh, but that's what we're here for is to try and help people over that hurdle, um, yeah. you know, mentorship or resources yeah. or what have you. So it's yeah. exciting. Uh, I'll, I'll just add to really quickly. We, you know, we meet regularly. Uh, the OpenJS uh, calendar is is readily available. There are Zoom links typically in, in the meetings uh, entries. So if you want to get involved in any of the things or lurk in a meeting, you, you don't even have to get involved. You can just hang out and see what we're doing. Um, and we're doing a lot. It's fun. <laughs> yes. Um, great that you mentioned like like how to read a spec, for example. That's one resource that we're going to provide. Um, thanks to Hemanth from the TC39 community. He's published a lot of great resources there. So, you know, they, that's the kind of thing that we're going to help you find if you have a question. We're like librarians. <laughs> <laughs> I like librarians. They're always very helpful and nice. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so for that. I'm never quiet. Uh, just ask my wife. Um, so what's next? Should we talk about uh, our, our other topic that we're excited about and wanted to share in this talk, Jory? Oh my gosh, yes. So the, you know, not not saying like best for last, but it's like a really big program um, that we launched earlier this year. Um, and it's called JavaScript Landia, which um, is a mouthful to say, but I, I promise it is, um, it's quite fun. Uh, this is our individual supporter program. So um, one of the things that people have wanted to know for years is, hey, you know, my company can't join, but I'd like to support the projects in some way. Is there a, an individual membership or is there some, some way I can do that? Um, and we 
the Cross Project Council put our heads together and uh, came up with this program called JavaScript Landia um, for folks who wanted to want who want to do that. Um, it is a very small annual uh, uh, $25 support due, um, but with that you get um, access to a website that has. Um, badges that you can collect to support our different projects. So if you want to um, show, you know, your support for Node or for Appium or for WebDriver or any of our awesome projects, you can collect a badge for that project. Um, there's a JS Landia badge. There's an OpenJS World badge for people who've, who've uh, come to register for OpenJS World. In addition, we send out um, uh, supporter only newsletters. Um, deals for uh, training and certification, um, swag, that kind of thing. So uh, it's really sort of a, a way we can say thank you to all of the community who support these projects, use these projects, um, and you know, and, and support our maintainers of these projects uh, and, and get involved in that way. We're really excited about the future of this program too. Yeah, this is very exciting. Um, and we've already got, I'm, I'm uh, bouncing around and looking at the website. Uh, maybe I'll even, maybe I'll even share it here. Um, we've already got, uh, I think like 200 members or so in, in the, uh, in the, in our supporters, our individual supporter program. Um, I hope they don't mind that I, that I share this here, but, uh, but yeah, it's a really exciting and active program. Um, Yes, and so th 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 this site that uh, that Joe just showed um, is our is our existing website that's going to be converted very soon um, to a passport site, actually, where you'll be able to click into each. Um, if if you, for example, want to click on me, you would see all of the badges that I, you know, um, that I all the things I've supported or whatever. So um, it's a little bit more of like a, the concept being sort of a passport and you can collect your passport. This is sort of the beginning of the program as well. Um, so as we said, we launched this earlier in the year with just one badge and, and you know, a monthly newsletter um, with the event this week where uh, we're launching the new site and a lot more badges for um, our participants. So if you wanna collect a, a badge either to display on your GitHub profile, on your website, on LinkedIn or whatever, you can you can join JS Land, the JS Landia program and do that. Um, but we also imagine a world where we're getting these folks like more and more involved in our, um, in our programs and in ideas and, and campaigns. Uh, that support our open source maintainers and their projects. So, uh, you know, this is obviously we're in a unique situation in the last uh, year or so. We haven't been able to um, do the meetups, do the in-person stuff that we wanted to do, but we think our JS Landia uh, crew, um, our, our participants are just the right group to help us get back into those spaces when, uh, when it is prudent to do so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking forward to those those times. Um, be quiet, you two. Um, I, I think what's great too is like we've been talking a lot about ways for people to get involved, and that's really the the takeaway here. Like we want folks to get involved in the work that we're doing. We're having fun, but we're also you know like really just trying to. Um, just work for the community and make things, you know, better for everybody and have fun doing it. And, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats. And I think if we all kind of chip in and work together, like there's so much fun, great stuff that we can do that can really be beneficial to the community. So, you know, I know we've mentioned it a few times. Uh, we have this uh, helpful URL that will give you all sorts of ways to get involved, uh, Slack, the calendar, um, GitHub, uh, everything uh, should be kind of there. <clears throat> and yeah. yeah, that's our call to action. Yeah, you know, really the only requirement is, you know, passion for JavaScript and a desire to help, um, you know, the, the project communities that, that we support. Um, we've got a lot of big plans um, and we need help sort of figuring out um, how to make those the most useful they can be. Uh, and, and make sure that, of course, our 
committee, my, our community of, um, of maintainers is able to take advantage of, of all of that. So if you're interested, then uh, please just give us a hoot or a holler um, and, and, and join. We'd love to see you. We would love to see you. It'd be really great. Uh, with that, let's say thank you and 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 uh, bid you adieu. I hope you enjoy all the other talks and the keynotes and everything that's going on. And and um, you know, really happy to uh, to uh, to chat with you. And we hope to see you in person at uh, OpenJS World 2022 um, uh, if you're able. And that's you know, I cannot wait. I really cannot <laughs> wait. <laughs> hallway track. Yes, exactly. Great. All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, all. Adios.